Hey guys, how's it going? So, if I sound a little weird, I already kind of explained it in the item shop video I did. But, um, I wanted to review the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom movie. I watched it, like, I think a day ago or something like that. I like to do these videos the same day, but I just not, didn't plan it that way for this. But, you got Aquaman returning. I think he has a new blue suit that he eventually gets. So, he returns. Mera, which of course is his wife, and then Black Manta, which is like the and Ohm. Ohm returns to I think that's his name, Ohm or Ocean Master, whatever you want to call him, which is uh, Aquaman's brother. So he returns here too. But um, the main focus is that Black Manta is still trying to get revenge, and you know for his father's death. So the whole movie he's doing his own thing, trying to kill off everybody. But in the beginning, we find out that Aquaman and Mera, you know, made some sweet loving and they have a kid. So, and it's a son. So now Aquaman has a son and you saw throughout the movie that he had powers too. So maybe in the later future, we'll find out what happens to that. But um, the whole purpose of this movie was that these scientist people, I don't know what you want to call them, they... They were uh, searching for, I guess, Atlantis in, in the ice region, whatever you want to call it. And the ice cracked and they fell into this hole. Black Manta eventually found them. And they found Atlantis, or supposedly what's supposed to be Atlantis. But it was like all frozen. So he eventually, Black Manta finds this uh, trident. It's like a dual trident. You put them together and the green smoke comes out and it controls whoever's holding it. And I can't remember names for the life of me. You guys all know that. But the, what do you want to call him? The war, the war god or something of the ocean. You know, he was controlling Black Manta for a while. You know, telling him, oh, you do this. And I'll give you all the power, you know, but. So the whole movie is him trying to release that being to wreak, ha wreak havoc on uh, everybody else in the ocean. So him and, uh, and the scientists weren't a scientist that survived when they fell in that hole. We're working together along with the whole crew. You know, Black Manta's going around trying to collect these uh, pollution tanks or whatever you I mean, again, it's really better if I know the names of these. I know, but you guys, it's be it's better if I don't save the damn time because you guys can see the movie and you know what I'm talking about. But you got Black Manta searching for these pollution tank type of things so that he could eventually use it as a super weapon and, you know, melt the ice, which is pretty much what the the war god is what we're going to call him. Uh, that's how he gets out of the ice. So the whole thing is that he's trying to create enough heat to melt everything, let him out and all the minions with him and then everything gets screwed up. So throughout the movie, they realize, or Aquaman realizes the only way to find Black Manta in the first place is to get his brother. So you see him kick the guard's ass in the prison and Ohm is apparently taken to a prison near the desert on, on the surface world. So... <sighs> Man, this boy, this is the most confusing part of the movie. I don't know if you guys could explain it to me yourselves, but he, he looked bone, like, ooh, Lord, like skinny, skinny. The minute they broke him out, they, and they rode these, like, little creatures. I don't know what you want to call them. They, they got out of the prison. This man touches water, and he, uh, like, he, and he got muscles and shit. I'm, I'm like, what the hell? Like, no wonder they kept him in the desert because God, one, one drop of water and this motherfucker's gonna kick every guard's ass. You wouldn't know your ass from your elbow at that point. He'd shove him up your ass. I'm sorry, that's enough, that's enough ass talk. But he eventually gets strong. I, I still don't get it. Probably from the comics or something. I just don't understand it. But they eventually go find Black Manta. So the whole movie is them too. And Mirror helps at certain points in the movie too. But um, they, they fight with Black Manta. Black Manta gets his ass whooped again. Uh, Ohm picks up that trident thing and he gets mind controlled and he eventually lets that uh, 
the war got out and not very long he wasn't out for that long i mean aquaman just held the staff too with his brother and was like yo let go of this shit they, he lets go eventually they take the trident they blast the damn dude he dies or they blast the war god let me use my fake names here he dies um yeah, there's not, there's not much to the movie. I mean, it was basically them finding Atlantis, killing a, a war god, defeating Black Manta, because he got his ass whooped. I give it, I give it credit to that. He really did, over and over. But um, that's pretty much the, the basics of the movie. You know, you don't gotta know much to really watch this. But um, it's probably better if you watch the first movie again. I didn't do that. I barely remember the first movie, but. You know, I still recognize the characters. But um, other than that, not a bad movie at all. You know, I still enjoyed it. It had its great fight scenes. A lot of people hated this one right up there with the Marvels. They said these movies were crap. I didn't think it was that bad. You know, I really think it could have been worse. You know, a lot of weird parts in it, but it's it's watchable. It's definitely not bad. But um. Yeah, definitely go see this movie if you haven't got the chance yet. And I'll see you guys in my next video.